Hello everybody, the Warren Panda here, and welcome back to another episode of Well Let's Play 4, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Last time we did a few more side quests where we uh, helped out a few of these stables with putting some pictures on their walls, and we also helped out a lady with her horse, and uh, yeah, now we're going to go to another stable that needs a picture, and that stable is... Uh, we need to ban the bridge stable. And here we go. So we're going to fast travel to this shrine. I'm just going to activate the quest just so that it's easy for, for me to get the picture done right. So now here we are. Let's take a look at this. Mm. If you cross the Tabantha Br Great Bridge, around the corner of, from a stable, you see ruins in, on a mountain. I thought that I accenting the accenting this place with, with a picture of the ancient columns greeting the sunrise might please our customers. Uh, though when I went out before dawn to paint the sand oh. picture, I found myself staring down an enormous monster. I ducked away and hurried home safely, but it's sadly impossible to paint at the actual location as things are now. Oh. Can't paint that view from memory, but if I even had a detailed picture of it, yada yada yada, I get it. Picture for it to this bridge stable, and where we actually need to go is... Uh... Yeah, it's over here, so... I believe this is the closest shrine that we can fast travel to to head over there, so I'm gonna fast travel there. Okay, I made it close enough to where I fast travel from this shrine over to where I need to take the picture, so we just need to glide all the way across from here. And remember, this is the place where we we had to dodge that annoying dragon that kept killing me when I was trying to get the Korok seeds, or that one Korok seed. And are you serious? You can't be serious right now. It, it's raining. Please don't tell me. I want to be able to climb up here. Please tell me this one suit that I have works. This, uh, yeah. I don't get why it's like not completely working. When I'm supposed to climb all the way up without sliding, but maybe it just like helps you a bit. It's not like 100% you're able to climb completely while it's raining. Almost there. Okay, finally. Now I don't need to wear this anymore. So now... 
You just have to make it over here. Where is those things I need to take a picture of? Okay, is it here? Oh wait, of course I have to delete some of these pictures. Okay, I'm back, and apparently I had to be daytime for the sun to be up, because you need to have that to be able to take the picture. So, uh... Yeah, let's just have... This right here. Wait, what? Are you serious? Okay, finally! I just had to, um... You make a campfire and wait here until it has to be like at a specific time at like 5 a.m. in the morning for the sunrise to come out. That, that was a bit, that would take a few minutes to actually figure out. So, yeah, now we get head back to the, to be at the stable. And of course it's raining again, but hopefully I won't need it for the next quest. Here's your picture! Oh. Got your picture! Oh. Did you bring a picture of the ancient col columns in the sunrise? Did I see it? Oh. oh this is exactly the picture I asked for! This would really liven up the look around as a cave I paint a coffee? Sure. Ooh. Thank you! When I look at this picture, I think about gathering at my family one day to take a look at the real thing. <sighs> There's no way we could close the stable to do so, of course, but that only makes me more grateful for your kindness. Now just give me a moment to whip out reproduction, blah 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 blah. Oh. I knew it's so perfect for the stable, and it's all thanks to you, Link. Ooh. It's miraculous that such an old ruin has remained so well pre preserved. You have a picture, any picture of the ancient column of sunrise, yada yada yada. Mm. Yes, and you take this too. It's something of travel like you would find handy when fa faced with such harsh terrain and weather. Hasty elixir. Ooh. Link, it looks like you saved up some pony points, yada yada yada, Ooh. I know. Okay, this quest is finally done now. So I'm not, now I'm gonna look for another quest. Okay, next up we need to go to is the... Uh... Yeah, Mount Lanayru Skyview Tower. Okay, so I do want to... Let's climb up here, up to the very top. Oh, I'm hoping with the stamina that I have, I can even make it up. Okay. 
And here we are. So... Yeah, we're gonna have to wait until this certain dragon shows up, so this might take a while, so... Be right back. Okay, it took a few minutes to wait, and I think this dragon is finally appearing, so I'm definitely gonna save. Just to make sure I don't... I, I, if I screw this up, then I'll, I'll be able to start over, because yeah, you see this dragon is coming up out of the chasm. That's where some of the dragons usually are, if they are above in the surface. So there he is, just waiting for him to come up. I actually need to make sure I know where exactly the exactly the right spot to shoot is on. Okay. Let's go for this. Where did it? Where is it landing? Okay, it's landing down here. Okay, good. We'll come back here. And we get Nadra's Claw. And I think we need to get a couple more of these claws from the you know, other dragons. I need. I just need to figure out where they where they are. So I'll be right back. Or actually, you know what, I'm actually just going to go up to this... You need to go to this spring first, so I'm just going to do this before I go to another one of the dragons. So let's head back to this Skyview Tower. Okay, now... Spring is over here. Let's talk to the Scottish statue. There we go. Got a statue of wisdom. Um, okay, so I think for this quest that I just got activated, we need to go over... Uh, okay, so I don't have a, an actual shrine unlocked to where I have to go. I guess I'm just gonna have to fast travel to this shrine and make our way my way over to where I'm supposed to go that way, I guess. The reason why I know there's a shrine over there is because I I'm looking up a guide on how to do this quest. So yeah, let's just head over here. I did take a picture of you, didn't I? Oh no, I didn't! The Bantha Moose! Okay, so... Heading down here... I can tell this shrine is going to be somewhere. Do with this. Okay, 
Okay, so I have to go a lot further back. It's like all the way back this way. It's kind of a bit far, but it's fine. This video a bit longer just so I can I know I can at least have a couple quests done because I really don't just want one quest done in this one video. But here we go, this is Forgotten Temple. So let's head down here. Should be over here somewhere. Did I think take a picture of any of you guys. No, I didn't. Local Glen. the shrine over there. I guess I can do a shrine while I'm taking care of this quest. We have the Maya O.C. Shrine. Let's enter inside. Here we have building blocks. Okay, so we're gonna have to build some of these blocks. We're playing... Like, we're like little kids playing with, uh... Blocks. Anyways, I think we have to do it... This one this way. And then... This one like so. Yep, there we go. First one. See what's over here. Oh. Yeah. Oh crap. At least I have you. Oh crap. Uh. Oh come on! Uh, at least it's down finally. Okay, so let's head over here, and uh, I believe, no, I don't want to take a picture. I believe we need to use this block to attach it over here and move this, these blocks and put it over here so we can climb up here to grab this uh, chest. And of course I missed it. Careful. I said be careful. There we go. Large Zonite charge. So next we need to move all of this over here and we don't need this anymore. We can just we do need this uh, one block here. And now I believe we need to have it move like this. Or not. Okay. 
think. Wait, no, we don't even need this one. We need this one over here. Just like so, I believe. Okay, here we go. I think this is it for for this first one. And now we take this one, I believe, and. this here and place this other one that other one well I think this is used for the other side so let's put this here and let's put this here there we go took me a few minutes to figure out actually because I'm pretty bad with these kind of puzzles, actually. Anyways, let's get our free, uh... Or not our free, because we had to work for it, but our, uh... Our Light of Blessing! Only have one. Okay, so now where we need to go next is over here. You'll see that there's this uh, statue that's like laying down. You need to check it. The goddess statue has been toppled. Okay, now we need to head back to where we just were with the goddess statue. Okay, back at this uh, Skyview Tower. Okay, here we are, so let's talk to the statue. Is this true? The goddess statue in that canyon has to toppled. They are, these are ill tidings. I'm a devout swordsman. This is, that is the mother goddess statue. I implore you to help me to restore her. Seek the blue spirit Nadu, Nadu, Nadra who chills the air around here as, as she dances across the the heavens. When you have gained Nadra's claw, uh, offer it at this spring. I'll take care of it. Please, I beg this of you. I think we already ha yeah, we already have the Nadra's claw. Let's hold it and drop it here. Thank you, devout swordsman. I have sent a measure of my strength to the Mother Goddess statue. For this pious deed, I shall bestow upon you a small blessing. Just a measly sapphire. There are two other go goddess statues who guard the springs as I do. For the sake of the Mother Goddess statue, I assure ask you that you assist them as well. And we have completed this quest. So now I'm going to have to find the other one. Okay, so where we need to go next is over here to this eco eco Istakala Plains Chasm. I mean, we need to fa fast travel to the shrine. And, we're, and uh, we're, of course, we're going to have to wait for another dragon to pop out of the chasm. So, yeah, the dragon should appear here. 
It just depends on how long we have to wait. And I hope I don't have to wait for very long, though. But at least you guys don't have to wait, because I'll be pausing the video, and then uh, I'll see you guys when he actually appears. Okay, so apparently this didn't take very long at all, thankfully, so I'm just going to, again, save to make sure this, this works. And I'm actually going to take out this rocket so I can actually fly up high in the air just so I can shoot one of his claws so uh, yeah I'm gonna use to shield Okay, here it is. Finally got the Dinraw's Claw. Very easy. I'm really happy I didn't have to wait for very long. So I'm going to find out where the next spring is that we need to take this to. Is So the next spring that we need to go to is over... Here, so we're gonna have to fast travel to this shrine and walk a little bit. I just didn't re I didn't re realize that I fast traveled to the same exact shrine that I went to for this uh, dragon, so I, so I could have just walked a little bit further. Didn't even need, need to do that. Yep, here's this next spring. There we go. See the red spirit, spirit Dinral, wreathed in flame as she dances across the heavens. And you gain Dinral's claw, offer it at the spring. Got this quest, got this, got a statue of power. And let's uh, drop this claw and place it here. Thank you, devout swordsman. I have sent a message measuring my strength to the Mother Goddess statue. For this pious deed, I shall bestow upon you a small blessing. We got a ruby. There's one last goddess statue who guards the spring as I do. For the sake of the Mother, Mother Goddess statue, I ask you that you assist her as well. And now I'm going to find the next statue, or dra dragon, I mean. Okay, next up where we need to go to is, uh... Um... Where? Okay, I found it. It's right over here, so... We're going to have to fast travel to this, uh... Skyview Tower to make our way over there. So, let us just... go this way. And I know there is a shrine somewhere close by, and I guess I could do th that to make this episode even like a bit longer, but... I think I still just want to do this thing first. So yeah, it's over here. So I'll just see you guys until I see the dragon pop out. Wait, actually I messed up. It's actually... Somewhere, yeah, like over here is where he's gonna exit out of. So I'd rather go over here first. So I'm gonna fast travel to this Skyview Tower. 
Okay, I think I see him already over there. I just need to hurry up and head up over there. I need to get to higher ground up there so I can fly over there. Let's climb all the way up. Thanks thankfully, finding all these uh, dragons didn't really take that long. It's only the first one that took me like 10 or so minutes. So I'm gonna save again. I'm gonna use another one of these rockets. All the way up. Holy crap, I don't know if I can even aim at that that hard, that high. Can I do it? Oh yes, I did! Where are you landing? Hey, come on. We got Farash's Claw. Now I'm gonna fi figure out where the um, spring for this is, so I'll be right back. Okay, next we have to go up here to this is where the Spring of Courage is. We need fast travel to this shrine. Okay, so I believe the spring is down here. Yeah, here we go. So let's talk to the statue. The devout swordsman who offers this prayer will help me restore the Mother Goddess statue. Seek the golden spirit for Osh, who loses loose light, lightning as he she dances around across the heavens. All right, I have this claw. Let's put it down. Thank you, devout swordsman. I've sent a measure of my strength to the mother goddess statue. For this pious deed, I shall bestow upon you a small blessing. Got a topaz. Here, the measure of our strength has gone to restore the mother goddess statue who dwells in the vast canyon. You should make a pilgrimage there in tribute. And we finished this quest. Now we need to head back to where we were th in that other, in this uh, other forgotten temple. So let's fast travel to this shrine. And as you can see, this Mother Goddess statue is completely restored. Which is pretty awesome. Devout swordsman who offers his prayers. I'm deeply, deeply grateful for the aid you have provided to the Statue of the Springs. I bestow this upon you in recognition of your wisdom, power, and courage. White Sword of the Sky. Wait, I don't think this is the high, the Master Sword, is it? Go and bring priests to the world. We finish this quest. So yeah, I don't, I don't think this is actually the. The, white, the Master Sword, it's just a sword that looks like the Master Sword, but maybe it is, maybe it isn't, because it would say Master Sword if it was, but... Oh, well, it's cool, we got a new weapon, so... I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure it will break, it will break though, but... 
That guys, I'll end this off here, guys. So if you like this part, be sure to subscribe to my channel, leave a like, and post a comment about what you thought of the video. And I'll see you guys next time for more of my last play for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Have a wonderful day, guys, and peace out.